which is a gift of God given to comfort all of the sorrows of life and to also magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. take into account wrong suffered does not rejoice in unrighteousness but rejoiceth in the truth it bears all things it believes all things it hopes all things so the scriptures teach us that love never fails the New Testament reveals that happiness comes from putting the other first rather than oneself let all of us be mindful that there is nothing any more powerful than the love that we will express to one one another just as you are doing today. authority of the state, nor by the seal that's on your wedding certificate, but by the strength of your love, and by the power of your faith in each other and also in your God. we are separated by death. If God is my witness, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. So on behalf of the state of North Carolina, I would like to present you as husband and wife. Brandon, you know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brandon Curry.
mostly what I realized during that time, which I'm sure all of you got to see here today, is that I've never seen two people more in love than these two right here. Being literally, as Bridget was saying, their third wheel and seeing their love grow is something absolutely beautiful. Recently I've heard people talk about a forever love and literally you guys are the epitome of forever love. And it's something that people should aspire to have, goals that people should set for each other. And literally, I'm so proud of you, Peter. Like literally, as Aaron Show would say, you don't have like common sense. But clearly you do, because this is absolutely one of the best decisions you've ever made in your life. I'm so happy for the two of you guys. I can't wait to see what life has in store for you. And when you for Romania, girl, you better believe I'm going to be there. <laughs>